Alright guys, today I'm going to be showing you a, uh, a little bit of a different video. This is going to be a compilation of some of my favorite uh, beginner card tricks that you guys could learn uh, right away. Let's say you click this video and you want to learn some tricks that you can do just literally right after you watch this video. So this isn't really dedicated to a lot of my subscribers, but maybe some new people who are looking up card tricks because I know the holidays are coming up, which means you're probably going to have some family and you want to learn some tricks to impress them or whatever. So here's what... Uh, I recommend here's three cool tricks that you guys could do starting right now. All right, so the first one would look like this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do the performances of all three. Uh, the first one would look somewhat like this. You have the spectator pick any card that they want. In this case, this is gonna be your card for the trick. And you're gonna tell them that you are going to take their card, lose it into the deck. This way the card is mixed up. And then from here you can tell them, you know, that you've been practicing for a little bit and you have a good idea of where the card is. And you're going to have them hold on to the bottom half of the deck. You'd say, all right, so, you know, like I said, I've been practicing for a little bit. I think your card, one, two, three, four, five, I think I've controlled your card to this packet up here. So you're going to show them uh, that, you know, you're going to show them, you know, the cards that are in this packet, but if they see their card, tell them not to say anything. So you're going to tell them their card could either be the king of diamonds, it could either be the four, the three, the four, or the ace. So you have them hold on to this packet right here, okay? And you're going to tell them that within a snap, just like this, the four cards, or the five card packet now is turned into four and you ask them if their card has disappeared, they're gonna say yes. You're gonna ask them to go ahead and look through the deck that you've given them and just like that guys, you're gonna show them that their card is actually face up in the middle. So this is the first trick and uh, that's that. All right, so this trick is gonna work um, a little bit even easier than the last one, but essentially you're having the spectator go ahead, they pick another card from the middle of the deck. Let's say this is gonna be the spectator's card. And now from here, you could have them essentially just go ahead put their card in the middle, you mix up the deck a little bit to make sure their card is lost again. Okay, so you tell them, okay, so now from a shuffle pack, I'm gonna go ahead and put this into my pocket. So you take the deck, you put it in your pocket, you tell the spectator to name a number, and this number could be any number that they want. So let's say they wanted to name a number like 15. So the cards are in your pocket, you're reaching in with one hand, you're grabbing it, you say, okay, 15. So I'm gonna go, that's one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. The fifteenth card is going to be your card, just like that. So, and this is all from your pocket. That is the second trick, guys. Then we're going to show you the third one. All right. So, uh, the third one is actually really super, super simple as well. Um, essentially, for this trick, all you have to do is have. You can have the spectator go ahead, shuffle up the deck, and then you can have them. Let's say at this moment, you can go ahead, have them shuffle up the deck. And then you're going to tell them to stop wherever they want. Let's say they said stop around here. They said stop exactly here. You show them their card. In this case, their card is going to be the eight of spades. You go ahead, you put the eight in the middle, and you'd have them hold on to the top half of the deck. And just like this, guys, you're going to push in the top card, wave the deck around, and just like that, it's going to float back up to the top. But not over here. The card is actually going to float, come to the top of this package. So this is the third trick guys and if you want to do this don't forget to stick around for the tutorial. Alright so like I said before these tricks were super super simple it wasn't this uh, video wasn't really directed towards uh, you know my initial subscribers but any new people that want to come here and learn card tricks. So um, the first trick that I taught I believe it was the Biddle card trick and now I do have a separate video for that as well but I really want to include this uh, here in this video only because this really is my go-to card trick if anybody says you know um, you know, do a card trick for, for me or whatever. This is the trick I would normally do because you can have the spectator shuffle up the deck and um, it works, you know, every time. So here's what it looks like. You would have the spectator go ahead and pick any card that they want to from the deck. Now I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be teaching this trick as if you've never seen a card trick before. So essentially, the spectator can pick any card they want. In this case, let's say it's gonna be the queen of spades. And now what you wanna do is you wanna give them the illusion that you are actually mixing up this card into uh, the deck. So what I did was a uh, double undercut. So I lifted up the bottom half of the deck just like that and I pushed the card in so this way the card really is in the middle just like this as you guys can see. And now all you have to do is as you're pushing the card in, so this, this is what it looks like the card's getting pushed in, you are also pulling down the card. So the card is going towards the table, towards the ground, you push that in and then you're going to get a break just like that. So this is super simple to do guys, it's like just takes one step and all you have to do from here is take your pinky and you're taking half of the bottom of the cards just like this, you're taking half the deck, so it looks like that. Half the deck is coming towards the top and then you grab the cards from that break. 
and now their card is going to be on top. All right, so from here you give them the whole spiel about, you know, you, you know, practicing with cards and you saying, all right, so I'm going to give you this half of the deck and you give the spectators the bottom half of the deck, which does not have their card. Now from here you say, all right, so, you know, I think I've controlled your card to, you know, this, this half of the deck and all you have to do is peel off five cards. So you thumb over one, two, three, four, five. And now when you flip the cards over, their card is going to be in the first place. And before you flip them over, say, all right, so I'm going to show you these cards. What, uh, you know, your card's probably one of them, but if you see your card, don't say anything. So you tell them, you flip it over, you're in this setup, and you tell them, all right, so your card's either the queen of spades, and here's the move right off the bat, it takes two seconds. You have the cards in what's known as middle grip, so your thumb is going to be at the bottom with your middle um, at the top. So this is what it's going to look like, and all you have to do is thumb over just one card. This is going to be the queen, that gets thumbed over. And now as you're going to go to peel off the second card, all you're doing is grabbing that bottom card, this queen of spades, with the second deck. So this comes over, the seven is now going to cover it, and from the front it looks like this. There's the queen. It gets. I can hold on to it with my thumb at the bottom here like this, and my middle at the top. So that's how I'm holding onto the card, and as that's as you thumb over the seven, you just grab that queen of spades with your thumb and middle finger, and this comes down and when you go to get the three you can leave the deck on top square up that queen just like that and continue to thumb over the cards and say, right, now go ahead and hold this for me as well so now they're holding this packet thinking their card is in there but in reality their card is actually right here at the bottom and very nonchalantly you just put the deck back over in their hands don't even make a word about it because then they're going to look at it so you say alright so here's the group of five cards you snap your fingers and their card is actually going to vanish from over here and now it's going to be face up in the middle of this pile. So that is the first trick guys. All right, and so the second trick I taught as well, this one is super, super simple. Um, you can have the spectator again, go ahead. These are all impromptu card tricks, meaning there's no setup. Um, you can have the spectator go ahead and pick another card from the middle. Let's say they wanted to pick something like this. Doesn't matter what it is. What you're going to do is this is their card right here. So let's say this is the six of spades and you want to give them the illusion that you are also mixing up uh, the card into the deck. So you stick the card in, you do the same exact thing where you push down on it and push it in at the same time and that is going to cause that break. And now I'm going to give you guys a second way of controlling the card to the top. So obviously you have the break here with their card from the front. You can't really see it, but here on the side all you're going to do is grab the top half of the cards. I'm trying to get you guys so you can see it. You've got the top half of the cards just like this. And you're putting it to the table just like that and then you're grabbing it from the break. So this way, this isn't really a double undercut, you're just taking cards off the top. And then if you if you know how to do Riffle Shuffle, you can go ahead and do one, but make sure to leave the spectator's card on top of the deck. So super simple guys, the card goes to the top. And now all you have to do is stick, you can tell the spectators that you're gonna stick the deck into your pocket. So you actually stick the cards in your pocket and they can name any number one to 52, but obviously you don't wanna be sitting there for too long. So you can tell them, all right, yeah, go ahead and name a number, but just make sure it's not, you know, too big. Uh, so you have them pick a number and let's say they wanted to pick a number like let's say like like 10 so you guys get the idea so essentially the cards do go into your pocket you just have to remember which one is the top card and which one is the bottom card so the cards go away in your pocket and let's say they said number like 10 so until you get to number 10 you only take cards from the bottom so these are in your pocket you count out one two three four five six seven eight nine and when you get to the tenth card you're going to grab the top card just like that and you pull out the tenth card which is going to be theirs so that is the second trick and uh, i'm going to teach you guys how to do the third one right now all right so uh for the third trick um this one is also really simple i kind of took this um you know from this is just like a little segment of the ambitious card routine i'll leave a link up there in case you guys want to learn the whole thing but um the ambitious card routine is a card trick that basically it repeats the same process using the double lift over and over again, reincorporating, uh, reincorporating it in two different ways. So for this part, this is just like a standalone effect kind of taken from that big trick. So essentially you have the card selected, uh, or actually what you could do is have the spectator shuffle up the deck just like this. So not, I, you know, I could teach you guys the Marlowe tilt, but like I said, I want to keep this as simple as possible. So you have the spectator shuffle up the deck, and then you're going to have them, you know, say stop whenever they want. And they really are, you really are going to stop it exactly where they say stop. You pick up the deck, and from here you're going to do what's called a double lift. So 
I'm going to leave a link to that as well so this way you guys get a good in-depth tutorial of that. But essentially, all you have to do is you're flipping over two cards instead of one. So this is probably the most standard move in card magic. Um, you're just taking your finger, riffling off two cards. This is going to be two cards. And you're taking that and you're flipping it over. And it looks like it's just one card. So, all right, so you stop me at the Ace of Spades. You go ahead, you flip the double over. So what you're doing is when you're saying, all right, let's put this card in the middle. You're not putting that card in the middle. You're putting a random card in the middle. So this one, okay. And you want to make sure that you, they don't see it. So you could put the card in from the back and do the same effect, but it's really not going to have um, the, same, the same ending as with the spectators. If you put it in the front, they can clearly see where the card's going. Okay, they can see it right there. You just do not want them to see that random card. So at this point, you just go ahead, you riffle down about half the deck on top. So this way you still have some cards on top of that spectator's card. It's all right, you just go, all right, hold this for me. So this way it's not making a big deal. You don't really even have to make eye contact. You just ask them, you say, all right, actually go ahead and hold this part of the deck for me. And you make no big deal about it. You go ahead, you square this up. You can have them squared up if you want. From here, you can snap your fingers, wave the deck, literally whatever you want. It's all right, so your card should come back to the top. And then from here, the spectator is going to think, you don't know what you're doing, but all you have to do is say, wait, hold on, go look at the top of this pile. And just like that, guys, the top card is going to be over there, and that is their selection. So like I said, I know a lot of you guys are going to want some more advanced tricks, but um, I wanted to make this video for, like I said, people who want to just do some card tricks, especially during the holidays. I know that's coming up. So this is the video, guys. I hope you guys like it. And if you're new, go ahead and subscribe. And uh, as always, thanks for watching.